Okay. I went over my previous videos to make sure I'm not repeating myself. But this is this video is basically about anti-gunners and how and their hypocrisy and how violent they actually are. Now, like I said, check my previous previous videos. I might have mentioned how violent they are, but these are this is slightly different. Now, I on Facebook, I I'm well, I'm not part of the page, but I have one that shows me stuff that's called anti-gunners say the darndest thing. Plus the other crap. But some of the things they've said that I would not say no matter. Uh, even if to my worst enemy, I wouldn't say this thing because this is just wrong. I wouldn't even wish worse. I wouldn't even wish death on my worst enemies because that pretty much means they got to me and they won. But some of the things I've read is how they wish, how the gun they wish gun owners would kill their children with their guns that think that, that they're protecting themselves against the government. Stupid shit like that. Plus, the known thing going around called swatting, where you can see somebody open carrying a store, anti-gunner will see this, and call the cops, and lie as much as they can to get the biggest response they can basically to get a full frontal assault over somebody just carrying a gun and hoping that the police will gun them down. And this is just people that are openly carrying causing no problems whatsoever. And the hypocrisy part is where they say if they saw somebody in the store with a gun they will pull out their own concealed weapon. That's the hypocrisy part. They've been hypocrites right there. Yes, I believe it's still anti-gun because anti-gun people, even they could even own weapons, but they still say guns okay for me, but not okay for everybody else. In my opinion, that's still anti-gun. I've seen lots of them say they'd pull their own concealed weapon and shoot the person with the open carry weapon, saying they had no idea of their intentions. They were not going to wait to see if they were going to start killing people. They were going to shoot them and claim they were standing their gun, standing their ground, which, yes that part I have repeated before. But seriously, who would wish death upon a child? I mean, granted, finally, fine, you ain't gun owners. You, you know, most of them have, have with, wished death on them. But what did their children ever do to you? I mean, that's just, that's just wrong on so many levels. Or would you, what, what if somebody said that about your child? I mean, no matter how much I hated somebody, their children are innocent they have nothing to do with why you hate that person. And it's just wrong. It, some of the things I've seen them type on that website. Now they wish all the NRA members would get Ebola. Ebola. I mean, seriously, what the hell is wrong with you people? And then the recent shooting. I mean, apparently... Most military bases are anti-gun, well not anti sorry, wrong, gun-free zones. Now anti-gunners keep saying the only people they want to carry weapons are law enforcement and military. Yet, because of all this crap that's happening, and they mention they want to stop the military bases from being anti-gun, they throw a goddamn fit over it. They don't want them to carry, they don't want them to have weapons on the base. You can't have it both ways. You can't say only the military and cops should be allowed to carry guns and then get pissed off when people are saying that the bases should no longer be anti-gun. I mean, seriously, what the hell is wrong with you people? Every time something happens, I've been on the been on the anti-gun boards and all the crap I've read, all the tweets I've read, I'm not part of Twitter, but I've seen plenty of screens so how they're always wishing death upon these people. Uh, they're always saying they, they will call the cops and they will continue to call the cops until these gun nuts quit carrying around their weapons. I mean, they say they don't. They say who who the hell needs a gun while going shopping? Well, last year at Walmart, a married couple. Well, they had guns. They were threatening people. And my brother had a weapon. And unfortunately, he didn't know 
there were two of them. So yes, there's always a so no matter where you go, you cannot say that, that there's no reason to carry a gun at that place. Because at, violence is random. There's no telling if someone's in a firearm or not. I carry mine everywhere I go. I'm a concealed carrier, you will never know if I have a weapon or not. They live in their dreamland. They they think they take away all the guns from the good guys then it wouldn't be a problem, but they never mention how they're going to take away from bad guys. I know that's slightly off topic, but seriously, I can't fathom what's even going through their mind when they say half the crap they do. They threaten gun owner children. I guess it's not threaten, they wish that the gun owner will accident kill their children, so you know how other people feel. And apparently my camera keeps going out of focus and refocusing, but oh well. They threaten them, they always wish that the people who do carry weapons would actually shoot themselves or kill themselves with the guns. Then they would learn their lesson. Why would you even say that? You're wishing death upon people you don't know. You're fucking assholes. And if my thing gets flagged because I said that, then the panel has to redo the video. Seriously. And you can't even be civil about any of the crap you say. I mean, you guys tackled, well, I mean, your, one of your followers tackled somebody in Walmart over a concealed weapon. Granted, you went, they granted they got into jail, but actually, in my opinion, there was two mistakes made. Well, the guy tackling the guy when he wasn't threatening anybody. And the fact that the concealed carrier allowed somebody to see the fact that he was carrying a gun before he went into the store. Now, where I am, I can I can still carry in the, I can still carry at all times. Seems when I get out of my vehicle, I don't have to reach for a gun to, to put in my holster. It's always there, so nobody can tell I'm carrying a weapon no matter what. But you guys, you mean that you anti-gun people are so psychotically violent, yet you claim we as gun owners are. Yeah, we've never threatened people. None of that. And yet you people constantly threaten people. Constantly tweet about it. Constantly do swatting. And then people who justify it say, well, we're going to keep doing that until you gun owners get the message to stop bringing your guns everywhere. That's just wrong. There are, lot, there are people who own guns who have hol holstered, open carry, they're legal owners. I don't remember the last time I saw a felon who was not allowed to have a gun been on the news open carrying. I mean, any, any robbery I've seen on TV or something I've read online, I've never heard of them, well, I've never heard of them open carrying into the place. They've always had it hidden somewhere. And it just boggles the mind how psychotic you people are. But that's pretty much what I have to say about that, because honestly I can't think of much else to say. All, all I can, like I said, you people are just violent, you really claim we are. You guys really need to stop threatening people. It's not really working out for you. When you want to get your message across, there's a civilized way to do it. And what you're doing isn't working. So until next video. Come and take it if you want it. Come and take it if you think you can. Come and take it, but we'll warn you. You'll have to pry from our cold dead hands. We want the freedom that God gave us. So you best not cross that line. If you want this gun, you gotta come through us and take it. One shot at a time.